Oh, hello there. How are you doing? I'm the internet pen that might remember. I used to do these gaming videos and everything. And I'm back! And this time we're going to be playing Hard Truck Apocalypse, which I got on Steam sale for about 55 pence. So let's give this a go. I have had a little go of it, and it seems pretty good, actually. Um, but, you know, I, I only just started, so we're going to go on easy because uh, I don't really know how hard this game is. So, yeah. Uh, also, we're about to get the intro, and it's going to take a while, and I can't really say anything because I'm going to be speaking the whole time. So, I'm actually, as soon as that starts, going to mute my microphone and go and finish a cup of tea that I started like an hour ago. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you on the other side, I guess. History, History hasn't, hasn't kept, kept any certain facts, facts about, about the Dark Ages that followed the Cataclysm. One, One thing is sure. The, the thing that saved all humans was a face mask. The creation of an unknown genus protected people from the contaminated air and equalized everyone. This thin barrier between life and imminent death became the symbol of new humanity. Masks united people and gave them strength to fight for the future. New settlements were founded, far from old cities that had become common graves. Little by little. Small groups of survivors established trade relations between each other. Simple professions like miners, farmers, traders were in demand. Hard work made people forget about the horrors of the past. But nothing can change the nature of man. At all times, there were people who saved the wisdom to share it with others. Also, there were other ones who preferred chaos and destruction above all. Rise and shine. I have good news for you on your birthday. Good morning, Father. I'm all ears. It's a great day for both of us. You're an adult now and may do whatever you want. Whatever you want. I'm back. Uh, come on, I kept you waiting that though. You can wait for another 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, the voice acting that's, this game's great. So, of course, you better ask your father's permission. <laughs> Mine, in your case. Do you see this truck? It's yours now. Ah, oh, look at it. It's got a machine gun on as well. I wasn't joking, by the way. I have just gone and got I can't truck. believe it. I'm finally allowed to drive alone. And I really did keep it waiting, like, for about an hour. I mean, thank you, sir. Father, sir. It's pretty damn strong. Yes, but first. Wow, I will go to the very edge of the world. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, if you're not afraid to fall over. But first, you must go to South and deliver this package to Sergo, a friend of mine. Test your driving skills and return immediately. Your wish, my command. Okay, let's go test the driving skills. Okay, stop. All right, yeah, the game now. No, I don't need hints because I've, I've played about five minutes of it. Now, there's one other thing I need to test because I tried recording this already and I'm using the Steam Controller and it didn't work. And it turned out it's because the game, you know, it's because it wasn't in big picture mode, obviously. So I restarted a bit pic big picture mode and started playing again and it didn't work because it turns out that the game, that Steam had messed up and messed up with the But look, it's working! Yeah! Yeah, play with the Steam Controller. Game lags whenever I turn too quickly. Amazing. Um, right, so this is Hard Truck Apocalypse. It's kind of an action RPG in a car. Well, not a car, a truck. Hence, you know, Hard Truck. Um, we have buttons that do things, but what do they do? This one brings up the menu. Uh, we're going south. South. <laughs> oh, what a silly name. They've just called it that because it's, yeah, uh, you know, it's uh, to the west. It's to the west here. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Right, we've got a journal. Oh, we've got to take vegetables to the market. Um, so that's fine. I can do whatever I want. I bet my dad is preparing his surprise me and wants me to be out of his way now. Probably just as well. Uh, what have we got? Books? No. Relationships? No. Statistics? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm about to enter the world. Many perils are waiting on his way. Well, that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Um, and encyclopedia. Van! Only careless or desperate traders risk travel by this vehicle. One week gun, as in like seven days, 
and almost no armor are partially compensated by its high mobility. Because when you look at that jalopy, you think, oh, it's so agile. Uh, these are parts for stuff. Oh, so I know that this game has a lot of configuration. You can build your truck up in various ways. Here we can take a quick look at that interface. Haven't done any of this yet, because literally only gone to one place. Um, so it looks like there's going to be a lot of different customization. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's get on with the game, shall we? All right. So this is a truck, and this is me driving it. Yes. So yeah, I've set up a Steam configuration for this because no one else has. The problem is that Steam has messed up a lot for me recently. And like I said, it, it lost its configuration, but also I've had to revert to the non-beta version of Steam. I know what you're thinking, what the beta version? What are you on about? No, 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 there is that thing, and I always use it. And now I can't, because it just, it just doesn't work, and I have no idea why. But that also means I've lost a lot of the con um, configuration stuff. So, uh, yeah, because I'm setting up some funky action sets that do clever things, and now what's going on? Oh, check out that twangy music. Oh, that's Cinch. They're a vagabond. Uh, oh, okay. Now, ah, see, now, this much I've seen, so I knew they were going to shoot at me. So I'm going to shoot at them while also trying not to crash on the where I'm going. Um, yeah, there we go. Right. Uh, now, you can go. Oh, that, those are very wobbly wheels. And I don't think that's because I've got injured. I think that literally is just how my vehicle is. Let's pick up, no, those are the headlights. Uh, which is, there we go. Oh, I picked up another Hornet. So let's, uh, let's, let's just have a look at that. Maybe it's better in some way? 400, 500, 84, 18, 70, uh, 2, no, no, it's the same except less durable because it's been ripped off a vehicle that just exploded. Okay. Um, this game is about 10 years old, I think, uh, but I've never heard of it before. And that's a shame because it's actually got quite a few good reviews on Steam and the concept is pretty great. It's one of those games, it's one of those ideas, I should say, that you feel like it is really common and cliche until you remember that you've never really played anything like it before. Um, or that's this way. Ah, here's one more. So this, I guess, the, uh, this I, ha I haven't been in before. I ignored it the first time, but I guess this is where I, I can buy fuel. I can repair things. So that oh, is that the cost? Is that going to cost eight? Yeah, that's going to cost eight. That's going to cost thirty, and I have a hundred. I uh, don't really need to worry about that right now. What's, what's, what's these bits? So these are what I've got. Okay. How can I can I change these? And there's my hornet. Um, so you can set different weapon. If you've got more than one weapon, you can set different weapon groups, which is fine. Uh, no, it doesn't look like I can do much. I accept change my paint color, which is fine. I'm not going to do it, but I could. Which is good to know. Uh, don't think there's much more to here, but you know, just uh, getting the hang of it. Right. Oh, it's another hard day. Said someone apparently at some point. Uh, let's reload my gun. As far as I know, the weapons have infinite ammo, but they just, you know, need reloading periodically, so you're not having to reload them in combat. Oh, hang on, that's a red dot on the radar, and that means, yeah, bad car. Oh, two of them. Another chinch bag. Are these clones? These all the same person. They all seem to be chinch vagabond, which sounds like a sounds like a joke to me. But yeah. also the, the, oh, what's it called? Mr. Science Space 3000. Like, oh, there we go. I thought it was an out of range. It wasn't very good. Right, so, I have picked up stuff. I've got wood! And also more hornets. Uh, lots of machine guns. Nowhere else to put them. Completely useless. I guess I can sell them somewhere at some point for something. Hmm. That looks quite different, Rooty. Actually, is that where I'm meant to go? There's a yellow arrow on the radar. That sounded like someone said I was going to... Yeah, someone just said you're going to die, but I don't see anyone. Okay. Um, by, by the way, please do not adjust your YouTube stream. The game really is jerking like that whenever I turn, but only when I turn, which is strange. Right, so where am I... Oh, my, my uh, cargo point is pretty much full, so that's a problem. Uh, no, no, I'm meant to go right. I have no idea why the arrow is pointing south, because south isn't south. 
south is this way. Let's go. One thing you notice is my car is getting pretty banged up. If you look at the top, that meter in the middle is my armor, I believe. That is kind of my... Uh, I, God, I don't know term. Let's just say health. It's not health. I think the top right is fuel, maybe? Um, but my armor's getting pretty banged up because mostly because every time everyone's shooting at me, they're missing or they're not doing much damage, but then I crash into something because I'm facing backwards trying to shoot. Which isn't the smartest move. Here we go. This is where I want to be. Those gun turrets. Oh, 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 what's the oh, dog? Be careful. A bit Larry. Oi! Who's this cheeky? Alice, howdy, man. May I ask a favor? Uh, sure. That's game three. I have business here and I need someone to show me the way around these lamps. Well, I don't know these lamps. I need someone to show me around the lamps. It's none of your concern. I paid well enough to keep your mouth shut. I smell fish, you're after the look of a criminal. It says, who are you in? In what? I don't really know what's going on here. And this music is loud and fast. It's confusing to me. It's not. Um, are you in? Uh, see, it's a bit early in the game to be giving me this kind of choice, because I have no idea if random people I've stumbled across are likely to be nice or not, or what I'm going to Yeah, And they're not even saying what they're going to give me. I'm going to say I don't want anything to do with Raiders, actually. Uh, I think we need Great. Oi! Oh, so they're an explorer and they're green. So actually they are kind of a nice person, I guess. Or at least not currently theoretically antagonistic, although they are repeatedly ramming into me. Anyway, right. So we get up to here and we beat the horn. And now you have seen as far as I have. Everything from now on is new to me. Here we go, we're in south. Okay, quest log, I need to get the package, okay. To Sergio, Sergo? Sergo. Can I find Sergo? Oh, there's Sergo. What else have we got for uh, doing that? We could sell this wood. Okay, how do I do that? There we go, I made 44 and I can sell a couple of these because I don't need them. Uh, in fact, I might have just sold a lot. There we go. Wow, rolling in. 282. Brilliant. Uh, can't afford them. Okay, so anyway, what says whether or not they can afford So these can't be afforded, okay. So th those I'm guessing are too big. Too big to put on the rest of them. Okay, right, so I kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Oh, here I can fuel up. Repair, ooh, that's gonna be possible. Okay, let's just go talk to Sergio. Uh, look who's there! I hope you've got some business proposal. Uh, yep, there you go. You must be Peter Song, you've grown up since I last saw you. Yep. I'll give you a hundred coins, you agree? Sure, why not? There we go, is that, is that it? Yeah. There we go, I've got, hang on, I'm sure I've got more than a hundred coins there, I mean, I'm not complaining, but, can we talk to him again? Uh, yes, yes we can. Oh, what did you say? Thanks. Farmer Dick. Young man, could you do, please do me a small favour? Uh, I have important business, so I but didn't expect to see him turn off my Papers at home. Please bring me to the filling station as fast as possible. Yeah, that's cool. I can do that. That's on the way. Uh, barman. Hello. Go and work for me. Someone's burned our crops, poisoning wells. Kill them to get 413. Sure, I'll go murder some people. Why would I not? That's, that's just good business. Right. Is that? Can I afford anything useful now? Oh, I can afford. A deadly hornet or a hornet with an enlarged barrel. So, what's the difference? Uh, the deadly hornet doesn't really seem to have any advantage. No increase in fire distance, no more accurate, no fire any quicker, no big clip size. It's exactly the same. It's pointless. There's nothing good about that. Now, this hornet with the enlarged barrel, though, that has a mildly increased range. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to save my money. Uh, probably, probably not getting much from those right now. So, let's get out of here. I think I've got plenty of fuel and armor so far, so I'm not going to worry about that for now. Uh, two new quests. One is to get to the fuel station. One is to go elsewhere. How do I read this map? Hmm. Purple arrow that way. Orange arrow that way. What does the map say? Oh, orange is to return to farmer. Okay. Purple is to bring the rich farm to the filling station. And oh, oh, you can change which uh, side quest. So you only have one upon time. So if I do, if I. Oh, you've got to do it here, okay. So, also, it's not that gas station, it's a different one. Well, that's a bit of a bait and switch, isn't it? What about the other one? No. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Let's forget these. Let's, uh, I'll maybe do that one, maybe at some point, maybe. But right now, let's just go home. Go home. You know, I've been out for a drive, it's been all nice. Let's, let's get going. Let's have a look in this uh, field. Are there any uh, animals there at all? No? Maybe? No? Okay. I don't know what I thought it would be. Well, it's just time for a relaxing drive now, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think of the game so far? Are you enjoying it? I kind of am, but... Oh, so much a relaxing drive. Oh, it's a scout this time. That's a different... different thing. It's fine. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, hang on, sorry, that's my bad. Ah, oh, what have I done? So, I may... I, I set the game up so that the right pad with the Steam Control is to aim, but also clicking it into the map. I don't really know why I did that, I just wanted the map somewhere and that seemed to be the right place. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Oh, we got some more wood. Great. That's, uh... Definitely a thing we've acquired there. I wonder if fuel is more expensive in different places. I really should have paid attention to how much it cost at the fuel station in here. But that's... Oh, that's a good guy. Okay. What's this place? Oh, wait. Is this the gas station we wanted to go to? Have I taken the wrong turn? You could drive past here. What, what are you talking about? Oh, I completed it. So why is it up to my... Um, um, do I want to buy fuel? Do I want no, no, I'm just, I'm still good. I'm still good. All right. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, I've, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. So, uh, but you know what? That's kind of fine because it means, uh, it means, you know, uh, I'm off on adventures. So we might as well keep going and see if we can... No, we're kind of close to that other bit. I'm assuming I go over the bridge and left. Yeah, looks like it. So maybe I can find... That person I meant to kill, actually, maybe I should have restored my arrow. Oh, well. Something goes wrong, then uh, it's a learning experience for us all! Yeah, that's, that's sad to look at it. That's some, that's some nice water for, you know, the mid 2000s. Oh my god. Think about that. I, I'm not sure I'm going the right way at all. This is. Oh no, no, that's. Oh no, no, see, there's that little road just there. No, this is absolutely categorically the wrong way. So let's just turn around, shall we? And let's reload my gun as well while I'm there, because I only had one shot left here, I think. No, oh, bums. Alright, no, bugger off. Bugger off. Just a scratch. Just a flesh wound. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Okay. Might as well... Loot. Sweet loot! Even though my arm is really pretty good, start taking loads of damage from these weapons, I think. Oh, they, they can drop anything. What about this one? Come on, give me something. Yeah, there we go. I got a rusty assault on it. Oh! That might actually be better. What's what's an assault on it like? Let's have a look. I'll settle down once I've played it a bit more, but right now I don't really know. Uh, oh, it's a high rate of fire. And more accurate. That's nice, that's nice. I want to repair that if I can, if that's the thing you can do in this game. So, let's keep moving. 
my truck is not looking happy, really. It's looking pretty beat up, to be honest. Oh dear. Right, yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. Hello! What happened? I mean, like, there's this person here. Okay, n not my fault. They just walked into my truck and died. That's... That was not my fault. At all. Okay. Um, yes, I would like to repair. Uh, oh, you can choose different bits. Okay. Well, I'm going to repair all. It's fine. And refuel. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Now, I've got that other gun. Where can I, where can I put that on here? Ah, actually, yeah, if I put that on, then I can use repair to repair it now. I think, I think that's how it works. Yeah, there we go. So it's going to cost 117 to repair it. But, you know what? It's, it's good. I'm going to go for it. There we go. I've got my better... Oh, hang on. Camera's not facing the right way. I've got my better gun! Woo! Things are looking up already. Right. Now I just have to figure out where I'm going. Ah, oh, this is pleasant, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I've heard this game described as like Fallout, but in a car, and also like Privateer, which I never played. So uh, I guess Privateer you could also think as Hard Truck, wait, Hard Truck Apocalypse, but in a spaceship. That's a way to describe that game. The only thing I've got with games like this, especially for doing videos for them, is there's long stretches where nothing's happening apart from fences popping in and out of existence at the left side of the screen. Can you see that? And the trees. Wow. Anyway, sorry, what? What were you talking about? Uh, this way, this, is it? Hang on, hang on. Is this the little side? No, it's further up a bit. I'm nearly at that little side route where I've got to kill someone. It seems I've just got this new gun. Might as well give it a try. I think it's probably here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh oh, I'm worried about that. Oh, hang on. Those are people who don't care about me. Great. Ooh, hang on. And they've just dropped some cargo. Some wood and a hornet. Okay, I can drop something if I want to pick up something else. Well, ah, right, so this. So I've got some potatoes, which are at 50, or I've got my hornet, which is 30. Okay, so I might as well use them. They're useless to me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. How close am I to that pet station? Not close enough already. I'll just remember that's there. Maybe I can pick it back. I don't know how this game works. I don't know if it's going to disappear or whatnot. I also don't know if I'm fighting off more than I can chew by taking on whatever this is. Do you know what? I've been rambling on, but I really, really need to drink some tea. So just hold on a second. My hand is off the controller. I'm only holding in the accelerator button. It's quite yeah, dangerous, especially seeing as I can see someone ahead of me. This is my target. Okay, so let's. Oh, well, they're, they're quite weak. That, that was not tricky at all. Um, what loot have they dropped? Hornet! Another Hornet. And it's slightly better than this one. Yay! Slightly better. Uh, that's, that's it, really. That's all we've got to sell them after. Let's get where we're going. Back home to Papa. So, do people have to wear those face masks all the time? Or just most of the time? And why do they all have to look so creepy? I mean, it's not like they're all identical. They're different, slightly different shapes and designs. I mean, I've got this weird tattoo on mine, kind of thing. So, if you can make them up to be different shapes and have different colours. Why do they all have to be this creepy white in the first place? Hmm? I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that's the justification. And let's be honest, it's more like, well, we had trouble making people that looked like people and doing mouth animations for talking. So let's make up something about masks. Let's be honest, that's what's going on. Because this game doesn't really look all that post-apocalyptic does it i mean yeah the bridge is falling down a bit that's about it it's trees and vegetation and people walking around and things 
I, I'd say that things are alright, but they're trying to say, no, 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 we're all good. You, you can't breathe the air, it's horrible. Everything's everything's the worst thing. But I, don't, I don't buy it. Uh, can we sell stuff here? No, I don't think we can. Yeah, fair enough, let's keep it. Ooh. Oh, apparently there's day night cycles in this game. Well, that's something that I knew before. Wait, what, what am I talking about? That I didn't know before that I know now is what I meant to say. Trucking along, singing the song, shooting some trees and accidentally mapping. Uh, can we shoot the trees, that thing? Is that thing? Well, let me let me find a nearby tree and see if we can fell it using the power of bullets. Uh, oh, 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 no. Uh, how many? Whoa. Um. So you know how quite often in RPGs you leave your hometown doing everything and then come back and it's been set on fire and your parents are dead? I think this game might be uh, played to a cliche. Let's, let's find out, shall we? Uh, huh, huh, huh. Uh, oh, this doesn't look good. Why am I get? Hang on, hang on. Just I know, I know we're building up something here, but I'd like to point out that on this bridge my shadow appears elsewhere floating in the air and then comes to meet me and then drives along with me. It's quite weird. Um, yeah. This this doesn't look good. This looks... Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. Um. Huh. Uh. Oh no. Um, beat me my horn. Oh. My boy, come over here. What happened here? Who did it? Listen carefully. I've been taking care of you for years. Uh huh. But still, you are an adopted child. Oh. These things belong to your real father. Take them. Okay. Go find Ben Throttle. Ben Throttle. He is an explorer like your dad was. He will help. Go, son. Well, are you sure you don't want to come with me? Because you don't look or sound at all injured. All my life. What should I do now? Nothing left. And no one. Only this letter. The letter S. Prob probably into the paper. Uh, I just got if you are reading this letter, it means I didn't manage to come back. Sad. But true. I know Peter well, and have no worries about your education. No worries about your education. My heart hurts by the thought of you becoming a man while I am far away. It is a real torment. But you must know that I had no other choice but to leave. Too much is at stake. Could we could we read the letter away from the raging inferno? I have to write the wrong. Only by achieving my goal can I prove myself worthy of being called father and husband. I am sorry, son. Forgive me if you can. Only by achieving my goal can I prove myself worthy of being called father. Is that all? No explanations whatsoever? How can I forgive someone I never blame? There's nothing I can do here. Probably Ben will enlighten me. I will find him and then I will decide what to do with my life. I wonder where he lives. Okay, so... Okay. I have a new quest. Well, isn't that delightful? Um... <laughs> Gluco, destroy. Thanks. Thanks for that. What these would do? Uh, oh, I had a point of radar. Okay, and that's... Uh, oh, okay, danger things. So, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, I haven't been reading this. Oh dear. Find Ben Throttle. So basically, this is a game, kind of sci-fi setting, where you are a, a kid who wants to go to another town to get something, and he's kind of disillusioned, and then he comes home, and his, like, the person who's caring for him but isn't really their parent is dead, and the place is on fire, and now I've got to go find Ben. 
Is this Star Wars? Because if this is Star Wars, that's fine. But just, you know, be open about it. Anyway, right. I have to find Ben Fottle, the Explorer. And I'll probably do that next time. Assuming I record a video, which, you know, I might do 2020. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I've been the Intet Pen. You've been bored. Um, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.